Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the minimum laptop configuration to start with machine learning or deep learning or data science. Now, this particular question was asked by many of my subscribers. You know, every day I at least get one person saying that, Krish, what should be the minimum laptop configuration to start with machine learning and deep learning? So in this video, I'm going to cover this. And before I go ahead with respect to this particular video, please make sure that you subscribe the channel. We are very much near to 400K subscribers. Uh, please let us target it within eight days that is the target that i have given you from past two days i have given 10 days now remaining uh, just two days i've got over now we have just eight days please make sure that you subscribe the channel and press the bell notification icon also so let's proceed and let's understand about the minimum laptop configuration to start with ml and dl suppose if a person is looking at buying a laptop first of all the major constraint is the budget right and with a limited budget, how can we efficiently buy a laptop so that you will be able to learn both machine learning and deep learning in a very much easy way. Let me tell you one best configuration that you must at least have, you know, at least, I'm, again, I'm telling you at least have, okay? So the best configuration for a laptop to at least have to learn machine learning and deep learning in RAM wise, I'll say you 8 GB, 8 GB will be more than sufficient if you have very much constraint with respect to budget and all right to start and start learning machine learning and deep learning like uh, if you really want to learn this. So 8 GB RAM will be more than sufficient if you want considering hard disk. 256 uh, GB SSD, 1, 1, G, 1 TB hard disk, external hard disk will be more than sufficient. One GPU to start with like NVIDIA GTX 1650 will be more than sufficient, you know, uh, or 1660, 1660 Ti. So different, different GPUs are there. And again, I'm telling you with respect to the least budget, if you have GTX 1650, that will also be very much sufficient. Okay. Why I'm telling you to have at least one GPU because understand whenever you're working with deep learning, you should know how to do the configuration with respect to the CUDA libraries in your system itself so that you will be able to play with the Keras library or whether you want to play with PyTorch. Suppose you want to go and see that how your program will run in the GPU, all these things you will be able to do it. And with respect to this minimum configuration, you can also create partitions of operating system. Like you can have both Windows, you can also have Linux system. So this thing will also get covered. Now many people will say, Krish, what about Mac? Can we use Mac? Okay, uh, can 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 I not use a very higher version which has uh, GTX NVIDIA GeForce uh, uh, laptops? Definitely, you can do it, guys. Again, I told the first constraint that I'm considering is over here, money constraint, right? You have a limited budget, and as a student, if you are planning to learn, you know, data science and machine learning, I think first of all you need to go with a basic laptop. Okay, you need to grow because recently one of my cousin, okay, he, he he was actually using his dad's old laptop and there it had RAM of 8 GB, you know, and the hard disk was somewhere around, uh, uh, you know, somewhere around 512 GB, you know, and he was learning data science and then he suddenly demanded his dad that I want a very amazing system. Okay, then I just went and spoke to him. His dad told to me that Chris, is it required or not? I just went and spoke to him. Okay, why do you require that specific laptop? You know, for what purpose? Then he started saying that I'm doing my this project. I really need to train this many images and all. Then I told that even you buy the best. Uh, suppose if, if you are going with some amazing GPUs also, there also it'll, it is going to take time. Instead of that, you can take uh, uh, Google, Google Colab Pro. You can you can actually go ahead with different different platforms where you just have to probably pay for 10 to 15 dollars monthly and you'll be able to train your models right because understand the amount of money that person may be investing or he his dad will be investing you know because it is not sure right whether he'll be getting the job directly or not right and probably i think that person was also uh, wanting that particular laptop to play games you know in college and engineering days we also play a lot of games right and he wanted those kind of systems and all now for this kind of people i really want to say that if you are a student if you are investing that much money, you know, make sure that you invest only when you are able to earn more double income from that. You know, when I started my IT career, guys, I never bought a laptop unless and until I was more than eight and a half years experienced because I was able to do everything with my office laptop. You know, my office was also providing some amazing GPUs in the company itself, you know, Linux operating system, along with that NVIDIA GPUs, we had workstations, we have amazing workstation in our offices. And I was doing all my work for there. Well, why should I buy my own personal laptop, which will have this many things? The last year, which I actually bought uh, Lenovo Y40, that was my first laptop that I bought. 
and why i had actually bought because uh, i had to do my personal work i was doing video editing i was actually uh, creating my i had another channel where i used to play games and apart from that i used to take live session now just imagine that that laptop that i invested was somewhere around 85k it had 16 gb ram now why i went with 16 gb ram because understand i feel i felt that most of my machine learning and deep learning tasks will be i'll be able to do it and again i'm not talking about training the models training the models will definitely take more time in that laptop also i had a gtx 1660 okay over there i think gtx 1660 yeah now training of the model will also take time over there so instead of doing it over there i used to train my model it in google collab or or in some other platforms which was actually providing uh, those services even in aws services also i used to use i used to train my model uh, how much charges is actually coming up i used to pay it and just close down all the servers because every day you'll not do the training of the model right while learning if you have to train the model smaller smaller models you'll be able to do there are kaggle kernels they are google collab even google collab pro has come now if you are just giving 10 to 11 dollars every month you'll be able to train over there yeah some amount of time will take guys if there are 50000 images you are planning to train in 50000 60000 images you go with google collab pro it will definitely take time but at least your kernel will not get uh, restarted or shut down like i how it used to have it happen in google collab right so whenever i talk about laptop configuration when you are starting machine learning basic configuration minimum 8 gb if you have 16 gb that is very good okay 16 gb ram that is very very good okay if you have a gpu with respect to the laptop suppose if you are buying uh, suppose if your budget is somewhere on 1.5 lakhs right 1.5 lakhs now instead of buying laptop you go ahead with the workstation right desktop workstation i also have a desktop workstation in my desktop workstation i have 64 gb ram okay i have titan rtx uh, gpu okay i have an uh, amd ryzen processor Like why I bought this costly? See this entire thing that I have actually bought. It also has um, two TB hard disk and I think one TB SSD. Okay. Now this entire machine, the workstation that I actually work in, right? The entire workstation actually costs somewhere around five lakh rupees. Why I have invested this much money? Because this money, this money that I have invested, it is an investment for earning. Because probably I'll be taking classes, I'll be taking live sessions, I'll be uploading my videos and all. So with this, I'll be able to earn money. So only I invested that much money. It is not necessary that when you start learning machine learning and deep learning, you have to invest such a huge amount of money. I've seen so many people. Krish, I'm planning to start to learn machine learning and deep learning. Just tell me the configuration of the laptop. I am planning to put 2.5 lakhs as my budget. Why do you require that? If you have a basic laptop, first of all, start learning, right? 8 GB RAM is more than sufficient to start with machine learning, right? <laughs> 512 GB hard disk is more than sufficient. All the softwares is get installed. Okay, now there are some questions that people will also say, Krish, is, is 4 GB sufficient? Yes, with 4 GB also you can do machine learning, not with deep learning. TensorFlow, whenever you are working with, right? The basic library that is used for deep learning, TensorFlow or PyTorch, it demands 8 GB, 8 GB. So I said minimum 8 GB. Go with minimum 8 GB. With if you, even you have 4 GB, it's fine. You can start learning machine learning later on if you feel comfortable with this. If you are able to get the job after getting the job, if you are able to invest, probably you want to teach somewhere. Invest money on those kind of things, right? And people also say, Krish, I want, I, I have a plan to go with Mac. You know, Mac and all people who buys, right? I think that they always buy this kind of things only, like iPhones, Mac. They really care about the brand. But again. buy costliest thing only when you think the return will be double okay but minimum laptop configuration without any doubt guys 8 to 16 gb ram amd ryzen processor is for, uh, if you have that is well and good otherwise just go with intel i9 i7 processor or i5 processor will also fine i've seen in some laptops i3 processor will also work okay that will be more than sufficient i3 i5 i7 i9 again restrict your budget guys it is not like if you are planning to start uh, start to learn machine learning and deep learning you first time go and demand your parents that i require a 3.5 lakhs laptop you know <laughs> i'll never buy that understand this tech gadgets all are depreciating assets unless and until you are not able to earn from this i i would suggest don't spend huge amount of money spend smartly if you think yes you can use this device for doing some amazing work later on probably you will be able to uh, participate in some competitions probably you will be able to uh, use it in your, for your office work or consultant work like i have one of my friend right he bought an amazing configuration desktop okay uh, he has bought that uh, geoforce um, 
I think uh, I don't remember the version of the GPU, but it is very good. The recent version, 3080, okay, and uh, he has around 64 GB RAM, uh, AMD Ryzen processor, uh, many things, 64 GB RAM and all, right? Hard disk, very good. Why he is done? Because he takes a lot of freelancing work as a consultant and all. You know, not only that, he does a lot of live sessions. You know, he 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 also makes sure that he plays some games in a group and all, where they uh, participate in competitions and all. All those things are there. And because of that he has bought because from that he'll be able to earn double right this is the thing that i really want to mention but at, apart from that uh, when i where i talk about minimum laptop configuration um, please make this very much subtle that 8 gb to 16 gb ram okay and then you have um, intel processors or amd ryzen process if you are going with the desktop versions and then uh, probably hard disk gtx is required nvidia gpu is compulsory guys trust me nvidia gpu is compulsory because they are masters <laughs> whenever you're working in deep learning you will definitely be requiring cuda libraries so definitely this is required please i'd suggest try to learn it from there because if you are working directly in google collab pro also but they will not be able to face difficulties while installing cuda libraries and by default cuda libraries will be available over there but when you are learning over here and um, probably you're learning in a linux ministry how to install and all because in the real world scenario in the production also in that particular way also will then and one more suggestion i'll tell you guys in your laptop in your desktop try to make the partition of both windows and linux it will help you to work uh, because understand most of the cloud platforms they work in linux okay so that you will be able to install the library see what all problems you are getting and uh, if you are really planning to become machine learning and data scientist please make sure that always make linux as your favorite platform okay favorite operating system that is what i really want to suggest apart from that everybody likes windows i also like window i also work a lot in windows and all uh, that will be definitely possible and uh, if you are planning to buy a very high configuration with good amount of money buy in such a way that you'll be able to earn money later on that basically means after learning machine learning and deep learning start teaching okay this is the basic thing that i really want to tell and um, always try to use different different platforms also like google collab pro there are some other platforms which will give you in rent gpu as rent okay you can and i think per hour basis they charge somewhere around one or two dollars i i am not remembering the platform name but there are many many platforms which actually give you they'll give you the vm machine also a separate vm machine so that you will be able to log in from your local machine itself and uh, run all the process over there okay so i know uh apart from the laptop configuration i spoke many things but just understand this is for your benefit you know and uh, always make sure that you see the compatible of the GPU, uh, GTX libraries, sorry, of the GPU, NVIDIA GPUs with the CUDA libraries, okay? What version of those are being basically, whether the compatibility will be there or not from checking out from any, uh, the NVIDIA website itself. If you, check, if you check from there, the compatibility will be given over there. And uh, I'm going to soon show you one laptop, uh, probably, um, with some good amazing configuration uh, very soon the uh, the unboxing will happen for that i'm just waiting for that to come right now due to lockdown i think it has got delayed okay so i hope you like this particular video and again uh, understand apart from mentioning minimum laptop configuration i also told some other things because understand it is very much important you cannot just tell your parents to go ahead and tell them, buy me a four lakh laptop or desktop or five lakhs laptop because understand when once you pass into a once you get into a company after clearing it right all those configure all those things will be provided to you in the company itself why you want to spend so much of money spend only when you are able to earn from it okay this is the only statement and i think i have repeated this four to five times in this particular video because i really want you all to focus on to this okay so this was it from my side guys i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye